nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, everybody How's everybody doing this fine, fantastic morning? Well, I am doing fantastic just getting out of here. We parked at this rest area here last night and uh, had an okay night's sleep. It's not been the best night's sleep because uh, I've been sick, you know, and I have some built up in my throat and stuff like that. So it's uh, been a little difficult getting good night's sleep lately, but yeah, whatever. We managed to get our right sleep. So here we go. Let's get back on the highway. Let's get some miles in. Thanks for riding along with me today. I know we don't have super big days today and yesterday and tomorrow, but uh, that's all right. We only have 815 miles to go. We only have two days to make it in, right? not too hard to do I think as long as weather if the weather is not going to be too terrible I think that should not be a problem making that so so yeah we're only about 37 miles away from uh, I-94 and we'll be on the interstate and then we can just give her right that's right morning when I backed up, did my pre-trip there, a couple of my brakes were uh, frozen. Luckily I was able to break them free by uh, backing up. I didn't have to climb underneath my truck and uh, bang on the brakes in order to break them loose, so that was good. Here we go. It was another fairly cold night, I think it was like minus 22 overnight, not as cold as at home, but uh, still a pretty cold night. But because I ran all day, uh, all day long yesterday with the truck, the uh, coolant and everything was warm, right, when I stopped. So when I stopped, as soon as I stopped, the EP unit uh, was turned on. And then it's able to keep it warmer, so this morning was no problem starting the truck. But like last night when I was at home, like when I was telling you guys yesterday about uh, having a hard time starting the truck at home, you know, I had to shut off the AP unit all night, so, uh, you know, nothing is warm when you start it up in the morning, right? So, anyways, let's continue on with our journey. And let's see what the... Uh, what kind of day we're gonna have today? Well guys, it appears that we do have a fender bender up here. That's what it appears to be. A cop here on the left hand shoulder. The sign back there said the right lane was closed, but uh, right now they got the left lane closed up here. We're about five miles before uh, I-94. Looks like the cop is cleaning his uh, gloss. So people can see the lights but up here to the right you can see the vehicle that spun out over here looks like they've taken care of this uh, pretty much it's probably happened a little while ago almost looks like he rear-ended somebody but then again you never know right yeah and they got more flashing lights up there up ahead so I don't know uh, what's going down up there but must be uh, a little bit of a slippery section up here and 
They must have another accident up there. Oh yeah, I see another four-wheeler up there. Looks like he spun out or something. And yeah, that happens in winter time sometimes. Oh yeah, here you can see the marks, eh? To the right here, on the shoulder, you can see the skid marks where he spun out. Yeah, it looks like he did a good spin out over here, that's for sure. Hopefully everybody is all right though. Yeah, right on the bridge too, eh? Well, I mean, it happened just before a bridge, it looks like, but... Uh, he came to a rest right here by the bridge. Luckily he didn't go off, or luckily that car didn't go off the bridge, eh? Here it is, here it is. Yep, I've taken everybody out of there already, so we are good to go. So, yeah, I can feel it, it's slippery. You hear that? Just by stepping on the gas, eh? I didn't think it was that slippery, but I guess it is. Oh, there's another spot where an accident has happened. I guess this is a bit of a slippery section here. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of speed, so that way we can climb that hill up there. If there's any slippery sections in there, I could spin out, you know? That's the last thing I want to do. So let's give her and let's get up to speed and hopefully we can get up here. Sometimes speed is okay, but not too fast, right? And then the uh, distance between the vehicles is very important as well. As you can see, I'm keeping a good distance between me and that bus. Top ahead there, you know. So that's usually a good uh, good practice as well in winter time. Never fall out too close, you know. But we only got a few miles to go anyways. Now we'll be on uh, 94. I-94 that is. Now we'll see how that highway is going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be all right. But yeah, something, uh, something interesting, you know, something different. Every once in a while, you see spinouts like that, you know. <coughs> yeah. Anyways, let's continue on. Already, already, guys. We have wasted enough time up here in Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Yeah, we've been here in nearly two hours already. I think that's enough. It's 500 feet. Spent uh, W I 54. A little bit of time up there at the Flying J and uh, had me a bite to eat. And then I went across over here to the Walmart. I was kind of looking for something that. Uh, they did not have in stock, so uh, I was looking and looking and see if I could actually make it work. And what I was looking for was a uh, USB C connection that I can actually connect to my uh, Apple TV. And plug it into my computer. That's the kind of connection I was actually looking for. Now they did have the USB-C uh, connection, but it was only a negative of a of a USB plug, so I can't plug that sucker directly into my computer. So I need it's some kind of adaption. Take the entrance to the right on I-94 East for it to be able to connect into my computer. So now we're gonna have to search and see where I can find that. I looked everywhere in that Walmart, I could not find it, so uh, whatever, that's all right. We we'll just have to look somewhere else, or maybe somewhere else we can find a uh, USB-C connection to a uh, regular USB, you know? Hopefully we'll find it somewhere. If not, we'll just have to go online and order it. I know you can get it at Amazon, so. But whatever, here we are. Going to go back on the highway and put the hammer down. We are done for today. We are at a rest area up here in Indiana. Yeah, I know it's been 
Not much of footage today, but uh, whatever. One of those days, you know. Got talking away there to my buddy there this afternoon and was on the phone for quite a while with him this afternoon. And next thing I know, it's dark. And well, next thing I know, I'm here <laughs> at the at the rest area, you know. So, but whatever. That's the way it goes sometimes. And. Uh, now we are done. We added it up uh, yesterday's video. And I think that was a quite of an interesting video yesterday. I think that's going to make up a little bit for the crappy video today. But uh, whatever. That's the way it goes sometimes. But we try. We try to make something happen. But uh, whatever it is. Sometimes it's going to be a short video. Sometimes it's going to be a fantastic video. And sometimes it's not going to be such a good video. Whatever it is, I hope you will like it. And if not, hey, stay tuned. Tomorrow might be a better one. <laughs> Anyways, that's about all I got for today. Uh, had to put a little humor in there anyways, no matter what, right? So uh, tomorrow we're going to try and get to Pennsylvania. As close to our delivery as we can possibly do. And hopefully we can get us a parking spot over there. So let's see what happens tomorrow. So uh, come and join me uh, again tomorrow. We are usually up at 2 a.m. Central Time. Well, might be a little early for some of you, but hey, do join me out uh, throughout the day. And at least uh, take the time to watch the video. And uh, if you did, hey, let me know by leaving a comment down there below if you did. Watch it and tell me a little bit about what you think about my channel. You think it's a great channel? Do you uh, share the video? Do you like my videos? Do you like the editing that I'm doing on my videos? Do you like my commentary on my videos? Do you look the way I look? Probably not. Who cares about that anyways? Most important thing is what you see out of the window, right? But anyways, enough of that. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>